I nominated the team not only because they, were, they achieved the goal of culturing and stocking Southern Flounder into the two Texas bays. I need to run out and see where the ponds are. But also the team has developed into a highly productive, functioning work group. I think we've got a good team. We like a box of Captain Crunch, some of us are the cereal and some of us are the marshmallows, and we're all together, we're a big old bowl of goodness. Everyone counts on each other. Everyone trusts each other. Everyone's committed to each other and to the goal. This bucket is for the flounder. Of course, you know, the sum is greater than the, the parts. It, it's like uh, pieces of a puzzle. Each one has unique talents and abilities. That balance keeps this hatchery going real well. What we're doing right now with this facility and with Southern Flounder specifically is, I feel, truly groundbreaking and uh, there hasn't been a whole lot of work in the United States done on southern flounder for stock enhancement purposes. I guess you could say we, we closed the loop on southern flounder. We were able to Earlier, acquire fish, of our females, get them to spawn, that produce a lot of eggs, take the, the eggs, hatch them out, get the fry to grow out, stock the ponds, and then rear the, the fish to where we could stock them out into the bay. The work that we're doing requires literally hundreds of flounder to catch. The team overcame that obstacle uh, through, I think, sheer enthusiasm. In this cause of you know, replenishing the southern flounder population, we had a pretty unique group of individuals unite and donate some breeding fish to us. They had to overcome the infrastructure of the facility. The facility is a red drum spotted sea trout facility. Everything is geared toward that type of production. They were able to get others to help with funding. CCA donated $30,000 and a flounder boat. The team here at Sea Center Texas is absolutely amazing. There's a mission to conserve our coastal resources and these guys want to be on the front lines, on the cutting edge, and it obviously shows what they've done this flounder project. We were able to stock Sabine and Galveston, both base systems, you know, with a total of about 8,000 fish. So a tenfold increase in production. In Galveston, that was the first batch of southern flounder to be released in Galveston Bay. It was so significant because the, the brood fish were collected in Galveston Bay. They were spawned here on site, grown out, and then released back into Galveston Bay. It's pretty exciting. Working on the Southern Flounder Project is something pretty special. And just to see the progress that we've made, pretty phenomenal, I think. But it was the dynamics of the team. They can use these same dynamics and processes to achieve any goal that they set their mind on. Mm -hmm.